All right. All right, we're live again. And so, all right. Okay. All right, so we're live now. Okay. So, mm. all right. Hmm. 249. All right. So, yes, we are live. Uh, Mm. All right. Okay, so we're live. Uh, mm. Okay, we just had a bit of a technical difficulty there. Mm. <coughs> okay, so yeah, we're back. Um, just had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Um it's Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, okay. So, anyways, I will give me a chance here and I will share this. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Mmm. All right. Okay. And we are back. All right. Okay. We are back. Okay. All right. All right. We are just about to get to our hockey card hero there. Uh, yeah. Our craft beer for tonight. Mm. <coughs> All right. So anyways, uh, back, you know, doing the bongo solos and everything. Um, all right, so... All right, so bear with me here. Mm. Mm. Home. All right. You're just about to get to... Okay. Mm. All right. So yeah, we're, we're we're having like a bit, little bit of a technical difficulty here. All right. All right, so we're back. Uh, yeah, so we go on. Um, 
for those of you, we did like our craft beer review. We're, we're doing, still doing the craft beer review. Um, still doing Cubic the Rubik's. Birthday shout outs, countdown. We did Maximum Overdrive. Bring him back alive, Tom Stone. We're going to get to our hockey card hero in a minute here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Yeah. And what do we? All right. So as we like, uh, we get to our hockey card hero. I'm gonna remind everybody tonight. Okay, we're gonna start out. Um, Hmm. All right. And so we're live. Was live. Okay. Okay. All right. So where'd I go? I'm right here. All right. So um, our craft beer for tonight, uh, I'm accompanied with Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm, mm, mm. Um, our craft beer for tonight, welcome to the second half of... Uh, Big Jim Vlogcast Live. Um, all right. Yeah, our crap beer tonight is called Not Your Parking Lot Amber Ale. Um, mm. All right. Good. Good beer. Um, it's a spring-summer beer. It's a good beach beer, back deck beer. A little bit of an aftertaste to it, but not that much. It's a really good beer. It's by the Two Water Brewing Company in Corona, Ontario, Canada. Um, we'll get to that later on. Um, want to remind everybody uh, that uh, okay, and so mm, that um, we're not spam. Big Jim Blogcast Live. We are not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Listen Notes, and all these audio listening platforms. You'll see your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel. Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So I want to give shouts out to watching in the uh, Port Elgin Sarnia group, Sarnia Rock, supporting Sarnia. Um, Chain Reaction, great band there, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups. Um, mm, um, all the Van Halen, Hard Rock, Hair Metal, uh, ACDC groups, all our craft beer, cigar groups, uh, Star Wars, uh, ACDC uh, pro wrestling, Blogspot, Darth Vader, classic bit board show, classic board games, um, um, Rubik's Cube tonight, so, anyways, yeah, um, system dark mode, okay, and so, hmm, yeah, I think we shorted out there, uh, a little bit of a power surge, but we're back, hmm, hmm, Mm. All right. <coughs> All right. So thank you for watching. Um, I don't know what happened there, but maybe it was a, we shorted out. Uh, hmm. <coughs> All right, so hmm, was live. Uh, all right, so just seeing what went wrong here. Um, okay, all right, okay. Hmm. Mm. All right, so share now. Um, all right, maybe it's Facebook trying to tell me something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, we're here. We're live. We're we're rocking, rolling. Um, 
we've got our hockey card here for tonight. It is... Mm, mm, he is called... Uh, Miles Wood. Now, there's his, like, uh, picture right there. There's his hockey card. Uh, he was born September 13th, 1995, age 27, in Buffalo, New York. Six foot two, 195 pounds. Uh, minor league, plays in the 2007 Quebec Pee Wee International Hockey Tournament with the uh, Middlesex Islanders. Now, pro, after his, like, uh, freshman year, following the 2015-2016 Season, he signs a three year entry level contract with the New Jersey Devils on April 8th, 2016. April 9th, 26 or August 9th, 2016, he makes, makes his NHL debut against the Toronto Maple Leafs. November 29th, 2016, he like uh, he scores his first NHL goal in a 3 2 loss against the Winnipeg Jets. 2017 18 season, uh, scores his first hat trick in a 7 5 win over the Chicago Blackhawks. He helps the Devils clinch a spot in the 2018 Stanley Cup playoff by scoring the goal that would win the game 2-1 over the Maple Leafs. Now he ends the season with 32 points and signs a four-year contract with the Devils before the 2018-19 season, which expires at basically at the end of 2023. Now I posted several of his like uh, career highlights on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So like it, look for it. There is your hockey car hero for tonight, Miles Wood. All right. So, okay. Mm. All right. So that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> All right, boom. Okay, and so. All right, and this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 249, uh, part two, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Um, yeah. Um, all right, thank you for watching. Um, all right, and so. Okay, so tonight's craft beer, accompanied by like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla, um, it is called. All right, this is good. This is really good stuff. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So tonight's craft beer, it is called. It's not your parking lot amber ale, by the Two Water Brewing Company in. Uh, in Corona, Ontario, Canada. And I got to tell you, um, I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Good beer. A little bit of an aftertaste to it, but not that much. Goes down smoothly. It's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. I'm going to expand it. Yep. Good spring, summer, and fall beer. Um, it's good for like barbecues, beaches, the barbecue, beach, when you're on the beach or when you're on the back deck with your like buddies. Hanging out. Mm. Mm. All right. Look how thick that is, too. I'm going to top it up. Mm. All right. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at the head on that. Look at how thick that is. Um, we'll get to that later. Um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So, if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to, like, uh, um, Throw it a number, see if it matches up with mine. Mm. <coughs> Good cigar here. It's a Placencia uh, Almo de Campo. It's a Nicaraguan cigar. Um, got it at the uh, at our uh, at Sarnia Riverfront Cigars here in Sarnia, on, or Ontario, Canada. All right, so. As we get to our, like, uh, all right, so that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So if you're just joining us, we were cut off, but I'm back. We bounced back. This is part two of Big Jim Blogcast Live, um, episode, uh, version 5.0, episode 249, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Um, 
from here on in, we're gonna I'm gonna remind you that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you're listening to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Uh, give shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, especially Sarnia Rocks. Um, supporting Sarnia 2.0, Chain Reaction. Great band there. All the pop culture, retro classic, nostalgia groups. Um, Chain Reaction. Uh, craft Beer Cigars. Um, all the Van Halen, Hard Rock, Hair Metal, ACDC, Angus Young, Malcolm Young groups. Um, Star Wars, Sci-Fi, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Classic TV and Movies, plus our Ruby's Cube, Darth Vader, all the classic game show and board games. Right on. So, anyways, um, yeah. So tonight, we've got our classic uh, game show host and our classic board game. We have Jim Perry plus our classic board game, Definition. All right. So... This was based on the long-running definition TV show, 1974 to 1989. They were Canadian or Canadian uh, game show. Um, the object is to have the most cash and prizes by solving word puzzles after a predetermined number of uh, of guesses. Now the game master spells out the phrase by putting out letters down before the game board. A clue phrase is read to the player. Now each player. Uh, on the team, uh, we'll choose two letters. The first letter chosen will give the opposing team a chance to guess. Now, here's the, the definition. Um, we've got, I'm going to open this up here. Um, you've got, it's basically like you spell it out. There's the game. There it is. There's there's the, your cash money. Um, yeah. So, if the team with the correct answers wins, they they win. They guess they win ten dollars for each uh, each letter. They're, they're like lots of prizes. Um, all right. So definition <clears throat> aired on CTV from September 9, nineteen seventy four to March tenth, nineteen eighty nine. Uh, it was filmed at the CFTO TV studios in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It was hosted by Jim Perry. For the whole run of definition, this game was by Milton Bradley. Uh, ten, ages ten and up, adults. It takes like uh, two or more players. And so, if you've got one, I found this at, incidentally at Goodwill. And so, all right. So, anyways, yeah. And it comes with your instruction booklet. All right, the definition instruction booklet, like basically, whoa. Yeah, at home, so many rules there. But anyways, yeah. All right. So, but uh, I did post a few clips on our definition um, on, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So there we go. There's Mr. Jim Perry definition. All right. So, mm, mm, all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah. Also, we've got like our. Uh, All right. Well, Jim Perry himself. All right. So he would go on to like he was born uh, November 9th, nineteen thirty three, in uh, Camden, New Jersey. Besides definition, he hosted MCs. He hosted like Money Makers, Card Sharks, Hangman. He hosted the Miss Canada, Miss USA pageant. It's your move. And sale of the century, um, and was the host of like uh, was the recurring host of the Telemiracle Telethon in Sask Saskatchewan to support the Saskatchewan Kidsmen Clubs there. Now he retired. He retired uh, not long after that. He unfortunately passed away from cancer November second, twenty fifteen, at the age of eighty two. So, here's your classic game show host, Jim Perry, and Definition. All right. So, mm. all right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. Boom. Okay. So, oh, yeah. This is part two 
a Big Jim Vlogcast Live version 5.0 episode 149, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Um, all right, just scrolling up here, scrolling, scrolling. Um, hmm, all right, so yeah. Okay, and so. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, and we've got like our classic. Okay, all you Star Wars sci-fi fans, this is a Darth. Vi oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Just a minute before we do that. All right. So, I'm gonna. All right, it's time for Cuban the Rubik. Now. I'm going to get a full side of this blue, 20 turns. This is the second time I'm doing this tonight. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, um, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, um, 18, 19, and 20. There you go. 20 turns. It's no better off than I was. Like, uh, you know, I'm trying to get the full blue side, and I will do that. I'll get one side color. If, if you're under 30 and you're watching this broadcast, you may not know what this is, but a lot of other people do. So, anyways, um, yeah, I will try this all year long. If I don't get it by the end of the year, I'll smash it on air and I'll, like, uh, you know, get get a, get a side there. All right. And I'm mounting it on my own Big Jim broadcast Live um, uh, coffee mug there. So, all right. Okay. All right. Boom. All right. All right. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's move her up and down. Let's let know we're alive. All right. So, hmm. All right. We are alive. We're still here. We're still alive and kicking. Um, all right. So anyways, yeah. Um, mm. tonight's craft beer. I've got a good cigar before we get to our, like, uh, our, um, our classic guitar duo. Mm. Mm. <coughs> this is a Placencia Almo de Campo. It's a Nicaraguan cigar. It's by like, uh, the Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia. Um, craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right. So, mm. our craft beer for tonight, it is called, it is not your parking lot amber ale. And so, and that is by the, uh, Two Water Brewing Company. I have their glass, Two Water Brewing Company in Corona, Ontario, Canada. Mm. A little bit of an aftertaste to it. I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. I'll top it up. Mm, all right. So, yeah. Um, it's a good beach beer, good barbecue beer, good spring, summer, and fall beer. Um, it's good when you're hanging out with the back on the back deck with your buddies. Um, like I said, good barbecue beer. Mm. Goes down smoothly. Um, I do give it a rating la later on. Out of 10 later on in the broadcast. So if you're still here and you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so. So, all right. Mm. Okay. So, mm. all right. Bongo solo in itself. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. Um. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, it is Big G Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 249, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Um, we're gonna we have 
our classic guitar duo. Um, all right, Angus and Malcolm Young. All right, um, now these guys, and everybody, AC, every ACDC fan knows these guys. Um, uh, yeah, Angus Young formed ACDC with Malcolm Young when he was only 18 years old. He uses, everybody knows who, like, uh, what guitars he uses. He uses various versions of the Gibson SGs. He uses Ernie Ball Super Slinky guitar strings. Um, he teamed up, Angus Young and Gibson teamed up and made the Angus Young SG Signature Humbucker. The amplifiers, he uses, like, Marshall 1959 100-watt Super Lead Flexi Heads, Model 1960 AX and BX 4x12 four, four cabinets, later amps with a Marshall JMP 20, 2203 and Wizard like uh, amplifiers. His influences were Jimi Hendrix, Chuck Berry, Muddy Waters, Pete Townsend, Malcolm Young. Uh, he plays open chords through Matt, uh, Marshall amplifiers, set to low volume um, with the high gear. He plays like a Gretsch 19... He played uh, 1963 Gretsch Firebird and later modified versions of that of his guitar. Um, uh, unfortunately, M Malcolm passed away November 18, 2017, age 64. Uh, complications from Alzheimer's. His influences were like Jimi Hendrix and Chuck Berry. Now, the essential ACDC albums with like uh, um, Angus and Malcolm were like High Voltage, 1976, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, 1976. Uh, Let There Be Rock, 1977, Power Ridge, 1978, um, Highway to Hell, which we'll get to, 1979, Back in Black, 1980, For Those About to Rock, 1981. Um, yeah, and so there's your classic guitar duo for tonight, Angus and Malcolm Young, ACDC. Um, I posted several clips of their guitar rig of their guitars, uh, what they use on tour and on in the studio on my blogcast page. So like it, like look for it on my blogcast page, and you'll you'll thoroughly entertained on that. So all right. So what uh, what do we got here? All right. So anyways, okay. So okay. All right. So yeah. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Hmm. Um, as we get to our classic album, all right, our classic album, I just want to say this is part two of Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 249, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Uh, we experienced a power outage, I guess. So, um, part two. So, yeah. All right. And that deserves a little bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, mm, okay. Yeah. So, Larry, Corita, Susan, Ann, you're still out there, still watching? Great. Good. You've caught. Mm, all right. Let me get my breath here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all right so yeah um i want to give shouts all right so anyways i'm going to remind everybody tonight this broadcast isn't spam the audio version goes out later on spotify apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you'll see your podcast too we're not spam like a share up subscribe to us um I'm going to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia group, especially supporting Sarnia, Sarnia Rocks. Uh, Michelle, you guys rock. Chain Reaction, all the retro classic pop culture nostalgia groups, all the hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen, ACDC, Angus Young, Malcolm Young groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, classic TV and movies, blog groups, uh, the Darth Vader groups, the Rubik's Cube groups, all the board game groups. Classic board games, classic game shows, right on. So, as we get to our our um, classic album of the night, um, all right. So, we get to our class. Oh man, this is a classic. Highway to Hell. Um, da 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 da. 
It was released July 27th, 1979. Uh, produced by... Okay, who was he? All right. So anyways... Okay. Hmm. All right. Produced by this guy, Robert John Mutt Lang. Um, it, uh, this guy is, was a super producer. Uh, he would go on. It was This would be their first time uh, using Mutt Lang as, like, their, uh, as their producer, as he would go on to work with another band called, a uh, young band called, you might know them, they, they're called Def Leppard, basically the sixth member. He would go on to work with, like, the Cars, Brian Adams, and a little-known singer named Shania Twain. Now, the band, okay, this is the band's sixth studio album, recorded in between December 1978 to 19th, April of 1979, recorded at Roundhouse Studios in London, England. The band at the time was, okay, um, Angus Young on guitar, Malcolm Young on rhythm guitar, Cliff Williams on bass, Bon Scott on vocals, Phil Rudd on drums. Uh, side one, you've got Highway to Hell, Girls Got Rhythm, Walk All Over You, Touch Too Much, Beating Around the Bush. Side two, Shot, shot Down in Flames, Get It Hot, If You Want Blood, You've Got It, Love Hungry Man, and Night Prowler. Night Prowler, um, if you, history behind that, Richard Ramirez, serial killer, claimed that Night Prowler caused him to kill a lot of people, which I think is like BS. But, um, yeah, uh, Atlantic Records believed ACDC was going to make it big in America. They wanted Mutt Lang. Um, again, they wanted Mutt Lang, this guy, to uh, produce Highway to Hell. Prior to that, they used George Young, Angus and Malcolm Young's older brother, and Harry Banda to produce their albums. They, like, uh, they had Jimi Hendrix producer, um, uh, Eddie Kramer, uh, working with them, Angus and Young didn't like him at all, um, so they said, Let, let's go with this guy, Mutt Lang, so, all right, um, the band had new management at the time, they, uh, they sent a tape to Mutt Lang, Lang taught Bon Scott basically how to re-sing and breathe properly, he forced the band to rework and re rewrite their, their songs, and got Angus to improve his guitar, um, he was a real taskmaster, taskmaster all through the production of Highway to Hell. Um, upon Highway to Hell release since 2000 has gone, it has gone like uh, certified seven times platinum, one million units. That means seven, seven million copies, over seven million copies worldwide. Um, and it's the second longest uh, charting ACDC album. Unfortunately, Highway to Hell be Bon Scott's last album as he unfortunately passed away February 18th at age 33 with acute alcohol poisoning. Um, as everybody knows, they soldered on with Brian Johnson, but this is like a classic high, a classic ACDC album. And I posted um, Highway to Hell, Girls Got Rhythm, several of their videos on my blogcast page, so look for it. Um, there we go. There is like our classic album of the night. Highway to Hell by uh, ACDC. And so, all right. So, okay. Mm. Okay. So, mm. Mm. all right. So, yeah. Um, all right. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Hmm. <coughs> All right. Bongo solo in itself. Hmm. All right. Boom. Okay. So, here we go. Um, yeah. Um, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 249. It is Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Before we get to my most favorite time of the blogcast, um, I want to say this is part two. We were cut off, basically. Um, I'm getting thirsty. Tonight's craft beer is called Crown... Uh, it's accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm, not much left of that. Mm. Tonight's craft beer, it is called... 
Um, it's not your parking lot amber ale. It is by like the uh, by Two Water Brewing in Corona, Ontario, Canada. Trying it for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Yeah, damn good beer. A little bit of an aftertaste to it, but hey. It's a good spring, summer, and fall beer, good beach beer, good barbecue beer. When you're out at the barbecue, let me top that up a little bit there. Um, out in the back deck with your buddies. Uh, yeah, and I do give it a rating. Uh, I will give it a rating shortly um, after my most favorite time in the blogcast happens. Uh, and if you're still around, still sticking around, you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so. Like I see several people have already. Mm. 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 Yeah. All right. Mm. Now, mm. all right. Mm. We get to my most favorite time in the blogcast. It's called This Week in Van Halen History. So here we go. Uh, from April 17th to April 23rd. April 17th to 19, April 17th, 1983, David Lee Roth and Billy Squire. Jammed together at the Irvine Meadow Amphitheater in Irvine, California. Um, April 17th, 2008, Van Halen plays the Events Center in Reno, Nevada. April 18th, 1994, Edward Van Halen hosts a charity golf tournament at the Sherwood Country Club in Thousand Oaks, California. April 18th, 1982, Sammy Hager plays Market Square Arena in Indianapolis, Indiana. April 19, 1981, Edward Van Hill has issued a speeding ticket on State Street in Santa Barbara, California. April 19, 1998, VH hold an autograph signing at the HMV in Sydney, Australia. April 20, uh, 2006, David Lee Roth attends a fundraising event for Songs of Love. April 21, 1984, Van Hill plays a Colise de Quebec in Quebec, Ontario, Quebec City, uh, Canada. Um, April... 21st, 2007, Edward Van Halen is the honorary race official at the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series at the Phoenix Raceway at Avondale, Arizona. April 22nd, 1990, Van Halen opened the Cabo Wabo Cantina in San Lucas, Mexico. April 22nd, 1983, Edward Van Halen jams with Brian May and friends at the Record Plant Studio in Los Angeles, California. California. April 23rd, 1978, Van Halen opens for Journey at the Fox Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. And April 23rd, 1983, Edward Van Halen jams with Alan Holdsworth, the Roxy in Hollywood, California. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history. Boom. All right. So where do we go? All right. Okay. So anyways, um, mm, okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to do... Oh, man. I'm going to... All right. So, for the third and final time tonight, I am going to get... I'm going to try and get the blue side. It's time for Cube and the Rubik. Um, yeah, we are. Um, 20 turns. All right. So, here we go. Um, all right. I'm going to try and get... Again, try and get the blue side for all you people under 30 that don't know what this is it's a rubik's cube and it was a pop sensation in the 80s so all right so here we go 20 turns one two three four five six seven eight uh nine ten eleven twelve um thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. There we go. No more, no less. I tried to get the blue side. There we go. Fuck. All right. So I don't, I'm going to be doing this all year long, three times on the, on the blogcast. If I don't get it by the end of the year, I'll dismantle it on, on air by the end of the year and try and, you know. So anyway, you get the idea. And I mounted it on my own Big Jim Blogcast Live mug. There we go. All right. So, all right. I'm going to rate the beer in a second here. Um, I want to remind everybody that this blogcast isn't spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to. 
Plus, I've got my own YouTube channel, Big Jim's Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia, Port Elgin groups. Um, all the, like, uh, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Supporting Sarnia. Um, uh, yeah, Chain Reaction, great band there. All the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups. Uh, all the hard rock, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen, ACDC, Angus Young, Malcolm Young groups. Craft Beer, Cigars, Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Classic TV and Movies, all the blog groups, plus the Classic Game Show, Game Show Hosts, uh, and Rubik's Cube and Darth Vader groups. Right on. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, tonight's Craft Beer, accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. All right. Um, accompanied by a good cigar. It is called... Placencia Alma de Campo. Mm. All right. I, mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So tonight's craft beer um, is called It's Not Your Parking Lot Amber Ale. Trying it for the very first time tonight. I am going to top it up. Um, now I'll give it a rating out of 10 later. Uh, in a few minutes, but my final thoughts on this. Mm. Mm. All right. Good beer. A little bit of an aftertaste to it. It's good spring, summer, and fall beer. It's good for like uh, beaches, barbecues, uh, out in the back deck with your like uh, buddies. Um, all right. So um, good beer by the Two Water Brewing Company in Corona, Ontario, Canada. Mm. It's thick. I got one of their glasses. Well, here we go. All right. So, all right. So, yeah. Um, mm, mm. Mm, all right. Wait a minute. All right. So, okay. Hold on here. Mm. All right. All right. Oh, I've got it here. Oh, basically. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, we'll check that. Um, all right. All right. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Eight out of ten. All right. Okay, so anyways, um, all right, eight out of ten, you know, um, yes, eight out of ten, mm, all right, okay, all right, yeah, eight out of ten. I gave this, oh man, good. It's a do again beer. Go out and get this. Eight out of ten. Oh man. So, mm. oh yeah. All right. Mm. Top it up. Yes. It's not your parking lot, Amber Ale by Two Water Brewing Company in Corona, Ontario, Canada. Eight out of ten. Uh, my yeah. Oh yeah. Good beach beer. Good barbecue beer. Good back deck beer. Spring, summer, and fall beer. Definitely. Um, all right. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm, mm, all right. And so, mm, I got that. I'm going to give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote now. Uh, Gratitude is a sign of noble souls by Aesop. I'll repeat that. Gratitude is a sign of noble souls by the philosopher Aesop. So, all right. Mm, bongo solo in itself. people great um yeah so anyways okay as i go along here i've been getting requests for t-shirts now with with the logo on it and everything so if you want a t-shirt like mine um i've got the baseball jersey like with on the front and the back 
with the logo on the front and the back here. Um, all right, boom, boom, there we go. Um, all right, and I got a plain white t-shirt here with that. All right, so, mm. all right, so anyways, yeah. I was buffering. Okay. Now, these t-shirts, they are $35, shipping and handling included, um, four to six weeks for delivery. If you want one, inbox me at Big Jim Blogcast Live um, or my regular Facebook page and tell me what uh, type of t-shirt you want, what design and everything, and um, I will get it out to you. It's six to eight weeks for delivery. I can't handle, I can't, I can't control that. Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, so if you want one, send your details, plus a, a cash, like, like money order or e-transfer. I can do that. 35 bucks shipping and handling included. Um, six to eight weeks for delivery. Give me your design, anything. So, yeah. All right. Anywho, um, yeah. So, all right. Mm. So, anyways, people. Mm. Uh. All right, that's it for me. Uh, this is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 249, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Our craft beer review, 8 out of 10. Uh, it's not your parking lot, Amber L by Two Water Brewing Company in Corona, Ontario, Canada. We cube the Rubik. Birthday shout-outs, Larry Garrett, Mike McIntosh, Jeff Sinfield, Michael Brown, Michelle McKay, Michelle Gross, Michael Allen, Chris Vallier, Thier Danini, Patrick Dobson, Julie McDonald, Jason Winter, Jen Corbett, Dana Young, The Countdowns, Local Events, our classic movie, Maximum Overdrive, our TV show, Bring Him Back Alive, our WF jobber, Tom Stone, our hockey car hero, Miles Wood, our classic game show host, Jim Perry and Definition, our classic Star Wars to toy, Darth Vader, uh, classic guitar duos, Mangus and Malcolm Young at ACDC. Our classic album, Highway to Hell by ACDC, This Week in Van Halen History. Plus, um, our inspirational, motivational quote, Gratitude is a Sign of Noble Souls by Aesop. Uh, we go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms, which is your podcast too. Plus, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. Uh, shout out to everybody watching the Spar Sarnia Port Elgin groups. Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock, supporting Sarnia, uh, Chain Reaction, all the retro classic pop culture nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, uh, classic rock groups, including ACDC, Angus Young, Malcolm Young, Craft Beer, Cigars, Star Wars, Darth Vader, Pro Wrestling, Classic TV and Movies, Rubik's Cube, all right, people, you may see me, you may, you may see, you're going to see me next weekend, so anyways, be good. For Big Jim's Blogcast Live version 5.0, 249, this is Jim. Uh, anyways, be good, and uh, cheers, everyone. See you next weekend.